G'day, Jamie Chapman with another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Uh, today we're going to continue our look at different types of epithelium. Today's episode is looking at simple columnar epithelium. Uh, so simple means one cell layer thick, all cells touching the basement membrane or basal lamina, and a columnar means that the cells are like columns, so they're taller than they are wide. So uh, we're going to have a look at a couple of different examples of simple columnar epithelium that we find in the human body. So let's start our three minutes. So we're back here at looking at our lovely section of the small intestine in cross section. Uh, these uh, structures here are the intestinal villus, um, which are finger-like projections which increase the surface area for absorption. And these uh, villi are lined by a simple columnar epithelium. And even as we sort of slowly zoom in, we can begin to see that lovely appearance of a simple columnar epithelium. Here we can see these basally located nuclei. They're quite uh, elongated, uh, certainly not as round as we saw with the uh, simple cuboidal epithelium. And you can see that these are very tall cells. So if you imagine that uh, these cells are sitting on uh, the basal lamina here, the cells because of how close they are indicating by their nuclei, we can see that they're quite clearly taller than they are wide. Uh, so all in a row, and I often describe these as um, like soldiers at attention, the nuclei look like soldiers at attention, uh, all in a row here. Uh, so this is a simple uh, layer and uh, columnar in appearance. And you typically get this sort of simple columnar uh, appearance where you want absorption or movement of substances along a surface. So uh, the small intestine, or most of the gastrointestinal tract, funnily enough, is lined by a simple columnar uh, epithelium. Um, and the other area uh, or the other site where we can actually see a simple columnar epithelium is in the uterine tube. So we see here, um, this is the uterine tube. So if we zoom in, I've highlighted a region here which shows us this um, line of cells. Again, once again, the soldiers all at attention. Um, so a simple columnar epithelium. But now on the surface, we can actually see uh, this very acidophilic band here and then these little hair-like structures coming off the top. And this is cilia. So this is a simple columnar ciliated epithelium uh, which we find in the uterine tube. Um, and so this is a type of epithelium is responsible for movement of, in this case, an oocyte once it's ovulated, uh, moving it from the exterior pelvic cavity inside the uterine tube and moving it towards uh, the uterine tube should fertilization take place and allowing implantation to take place uh, within uh, the uterus. So again, when you have a look at a, a simple columnar epithelium, you need to take into context the entire uh, surface because identifying this type of epithelium from this region here, for example, would be very difficult. But if you can see this sort of evidence of nuclei all in a row, cells which are taller than they are wide, and then have a look at its surrounding areas indicating things like cilia, then that'll help with your classification of, uh, in this case, simple columnar epithelium. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, our next one will be looking at pseudostratified epithelium.